Hi, I'm Matt Moran, and this is my new restaurant, Chiswick. The restaurant uh, originated in 1939, and it was called Chiswick. Uh, we are led to believe that a, a woman opened it, and she used to get a lot of the sailors, the American sailors coming up from uh, Woolloomooloo. Um, and then it became Prunius uh, later on, and I think it was possibly the, the busiest restaurant in Sydney in the 60s and 70s. We took it over in late 2010. We tried to to keep that conservatory look with the, the beautiful panes and you know a lot of people say that it looks like the Napa Valley, a lot of people say it looks like uh, the Hamptons, you know a lot of people say it looks like you know it could be in Italy. You know what's in bloody Willara and that's as simple as that. You know we wanted it to be a large space in that main room, we wanted that bar area and we wanted it to sort of interact from the kitchen into, into the restaurant. Um, didn't want a closed kitchen, wanted it to have that sort of feel. Um, you know Peter Sullivan is a uh, is mad about um, records, you know, vinyl. So we've got vinyl in there and we're playing records every night and it's, it's a fun place. Peter has this thing about uh, the Beatles and the Beatles are always playing and I, I pulled him up on it the other day and I said, you're playing it too much. And he said, Matt, when I put the Beatles on, he goes, you walk around the restaurant and whether they're old or young, they're sitting there tapping their feet. He goes, when people tap their feet, they're happy. So, you know, he feels as though they're happy. I'm not cooking here and I've made it very clear. You know, Aria, Aria Sydney, Aria Brisbane are my, my main restaurants. They're the ones that I, I cook in. They're the ones I'm in uniform. And, uh, and I don't really want to be in uniform here. Um, you know, it, it's, it's fun to be here and it's fun to be a little bit creative with the food with the other boys. Um, but I don't want to be in the kitchen. So, but for the first couple of weeks, I want to make sure that you know it's it's good and the standard is high. And and uh, so I'm kind of here, hanging around the pass, and and maybe I'm schmoozing a little bit, just making sure that everybody's happy. You know, the whole garden concept. Uh, this area was was uh, useless, deemed useless because we can't bring people, we can't bring guests out here, punters out here. So Peter's idea was just you know let's build a beautiful garden. Um, and it, it inspires you because you, you, you pull things out of the garden, you have to use them. And one of my favourite things at the moment is the, the Rosa salad. So we've got these beautiful little Rosa radishes. Um, we pulled 700 of them out of the ground the other day. And uh, we're just using it with the fresh mint, mint from the garden, um, some herbs, uh, cucumber, which we're growing cucumbers now too. And, um, you know, just a little bit of goat's cheese, fresh goat's cheese on the side, and a couple of little uh, croutons. It's just a very simple dish. Uh, but you can't really get it wrong because the, the produce is fresh and uh, you know the flavours are great together. So to me, it's all about the simplicity of food in this place. Look, the kitchen garden is, look, obviously you can see the size of it. It's, it's pretty big, but it's, it's, not, um, it's not going to satisfy all our needs when it comes to fruit and vegetables. You know, we're, we're far too busy. But, you know, I'm passionate about produce. There's nothing better coming out and and, and seeing mignonette lettuce and going, right, you know, there, there's 12 of them there today. They have to be harvested. You know, let's, let's do a fresh salad. Um, let's do a special, and that's basically what, what the garden is about. We never wanted to compete with Aria. We don't want, didn't want to do a fine dining restaurant. And, and I live over this side, and, and you know, to me it was all about, I want it to be food that I want to eat. And I want to eat at Chiswick. I don't eat at Aria. You know, in, in 12 years I've eaten there once. Um, I wanted to have a restaurant that I can actually go and enjoy. It's the food that I, I cook at home, you know, it's, you know, roast lamb shoulders, slow cooked, you know, roast chicken, you know, fried chicken, you know, um, sliders, beautiful little easy salads and you know, the whole shared concept is, is the way to go, you know, it's, if you come to my house and you come for lunch, we share food, that's, we, I don't sit there and trick up food on a plate anymore, it's just in the middle and everyone in. The diners aren't, aren't in control. Um, the shared food and the concept of just sending food out is, is the chef's concept. We started it by me going to friends' restaurants and just saying, you know, going to Justin North, but he just send me out food as it comes out. Eat, go home. Right? The chef started it and what happened was the punters started to catch on. Hence, now we have restaurants that you just come and we just send out food, you shared it, we have a collective menu which you can have a set price and we just keep feeding you. Now that, that's not the punters demanding, that's the chefs. That's the way we were eating and they've adapted to it the way that we were eating. They've copied us. <laughs> we set the trends. <laughs>